What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Smacy, and this month, instead of doing favorites, I'm just gonna give like a rundown of the stuff that I bought this month. I might throw a few favorites in here and there, but aside from that, um, yeah, I don't always have a ton of favorites. I don't try a lot of new makeup, but I am gonna kinda tell you guys what I did buy and give you some mini reviews of it, so let's do it. And I might have some favorites, who knows? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about, this is what I am gonna kind of consider a dupe for Mac Fix Plus. It's just a lot cheaper, there's a lot more of it, and it is also cruelty-free. This is by the Heritage Store. It's just rose water and glycerin. And rose water, it's not like infused with rose oil or something like that. It's basically just rose scent, water, and glycerin. Now, fair warning, it does say it is made with Vormag water, water that has been vortexed and magnetized to raise the energy to a higher vibration that we believe to be beneficial. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, try not to be judgy here. And yeah, it's water. I will say I don't really like the spray. I think the bottle's kind of pretty, but it's just a pink bottle. I'm just gonna probably decant it into my daughter's like, detangling spray for her hair. It's like the Honest brand or whatever. It's got a really fine mist. I'm probably gonna decant some of that into that bottle once it's empty, just to make it a little easier and not so ginormous. But you know, I do like it. I think it is a good do for Fix Plus. I think it does a good job like priming your skin. I think it does a good job setting all the powderiness of the makeup without drying out your skin. So it's definitely not a setting spray. It's not gonna fix your makeup in place and make it last all day, much like the Milani Make It Last will. It's just a good moisturizing spray. So that's it. That's all I'm gonna say. The next thing that I tried this month, you guys have probably seen the review. Maybe some of you have, maybe some of you haven't. If I, if you haven't, I'll go ahead and link it up here. It is the Ordinary Peeling Solution. It's 30% alpha hydroxy acid. It's 2% salicylic acid. It has lactic acid in it. It has glycolic acid in it, tartaric acid. I believe that's it, those four acids. It is a peel. It's like an at-home chemical peel. It is bright, like berry stain color. I don't know, it's really pretty. It's like a dark purpley red, but it is basically just an at-home chemical peel. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Baby Facial by Drunk Elephant, the Sukari Baby Facial. And so the first time I used it, I did do like a first impression of sorts of it, because chemical peels in general, you're gonna see like instantaneous results, more specifically if you get them actually from an esthetician or a dermatologist. This in particular is not gonna be that intense of a facial. However, I think it does a good job over time. So I have been using it twice a week, which is what it recommends. I think it says you can use it between two and three times a week. I've only been using it twice a week at this point because I do use um, acids on a daily basis. But I think it does a good job the more you use it. The most improvement I've seen from it is like my little blemishy areas, like where I've had pimples and stuff. Those have gotten significantly flatter and less raised on my skin, which is really good, I think. Aside from that, it hasn't done a whole lot else for my skin, but at the same time, I don't really have acne prone skin. I don't have super problematic skin. I do have keratosis, but aside from that, um, I think this is actually pretty good. It does a decent job. It will make your forehead look super shiny. I mean, we're talking like Borg Queen here, okay? <laughs> but that's not necessarily a bad thing. That just means it's gotten all the flakiness off of your skin. So that's good. So yeah, I'm gonna keep using it. It hasn't irritated my skin at all. I have really sensitive skin. I have eczema prone skin and I haven't had any issues with this. So I'm pretty impressed with it. I like it. I'll talk more about it in my comprehensive skincare routine. But aside from that, in case you guys were wondering, that's my follow up on that. Okay, so another thing that I've gotten this month and I will admit I was influenced. Okay, I fell under the influence of one, well, two of my favorite YouTubers, one of which is Karima McKimmy. I love her channel. I've been watching her for years. Same with Linda Hallbergs. I love her. And this is like both of their favorite foundations. So I was like, I mean, I had to try it, you know? It's a Swedish brand. It's called The Makeup Store. It's not the most affordable brand. I'll say that right now, but apparently it is competitively priced alongside other Swedish brands, not necessarily competitively priced in like the global market place of foundation. This is called Sculpt Excellence by The Makeup Store. The packaging is really pretty, but don't get too excited. It's just plastic and it's very lightweight, so it feels 
cheap-ish, but not a deal breaker. It's pretty. Um, I'm hoping that they just kind of saved money on the packaging. I paid $37 for it US plus $9 shipping which kind of sucked, but I was like so curious. This is like everybody's favorite foundation. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. I'm going to try it. I don't normally like splurge on foundations, particularly ones that were bought out of impulse, but I have to say I kind of like it. So it's the foundation I have on right now. I will have a full review coming out of this. And in that case, I will retroactively link it up here in the cards. But again, it's not going to be here yet. Just once I have the full foundation, foundation review out. I've been using it for about a week now, maybe a little bit more. When I applied it with a brush, like normally I like to apply my foundation first with a brush, then go over it and smooth it out with a beauty blender. This sets fairly quickly. I did apply it with a brush on its own just to see what would happen. Like when I first got it, it settled into my lines. It made everything look really dry. It emphasized my pores right around here, even though I did set it with a powder. But when I use it just with a beauty blender, not with a brush and beauty blender combo, not with a brush on its own, but with just a beauty blender, I really like the way it looks. So, I mean, here's like a little preliminary kind of look. It is a very olive toned foundation. From what I understand, the entire line is pretty olive toned. If you don't know what that means, it means that essentially your skin has sort of a green cast to it, especially if you look in fluorescent lighting. Like if you are at like Target or Walmart or something or the grocery store and you kind of look at, glance down at your skin and it has like a green cast to it, you can see mine. It does have a tinge of green, um, more, you know, yellow undertones. But th so that's why this works for me. If you do not have any olive undertones or anything like that, it is going to look extremely green on you. Even in like some lighting, some fluorescent lighting, it make it even looks really green on me. So keep that in mind. I have been in the shade cotton. This is the lightest shade in the line. And I'll just give you a little, like, this is what it looks like. It's not a pump, which kind of sucks. It is a big paddle applicator. So it can get kind of messy. I kind of have to be very careful when I'm pulling it in and out of the jar. But you know, that's not a deal breaker for me when it comes down to the time where I'm going to have to like scrape the insides of the bottle, getting the rest out. I don't know how easy it's going to be. But at the same time, you know, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I very rarely make super impulsive buying decisions about things. And I'm, I mean, it wasn't super impulsive. I did watch some other reviews, but Karima's and Linda's are the ones that really sold me on it. And I just... I went ahead and got it. Again, I'm gonna have a full review of this coming out. So, you know, anyway, a couple more products I'm gonna talk about. These are the Wet n Wild. These are two of the highlighters from the Wet n Wild Gothographic Collection. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in White Raven. This is one of the ones that has the skull relief on it. There were two, there was one that was more purple and one that was like this. Now, when I saw swatches of this, let's see if I can get it to like focus on it. When I saw swatches of this, I thought, you know what? That's actually different to, you know, the things that I have in my collection. However, it is extremely, extremely similar to Sugar Pill's Edward Scissorhands Ice Angel. And you can actually buy that separately from Sugar Pill. It is, however, more expensive, the Sugar Pill one, because it is very, if you can see, it's white, but it has like a blue shift, color shift to it. So I love Ice Angel for that reason. And I love this highlight for that reason. I am wearing it today. It is a little, you know, it's pretty blue. It doesn't look super blue on my skin at the moment because I do have a lot of like warm bronzer and stuff on, which I actually think it looks best with. Um, it just kind of helps the look kind of go together. I don't know. I do like it. I think it's a little bit... I don't want to say chunky. It's not as smooth as a lot of other highlighters. Even some of the Wet n Wild ones, it definitely, like if you can see, I'll swatch it here for you. Like you can kind of see the wrinkles in my thumbprint. Do you see what I mean? Just, it just doesn't come off as smooth as some other, some highlighters of theirs, but it looks really good. It's not glittery or anything. So, you know, it, it's money well spent. It was like five bucks. The other thing I bought, which this was, I was really curious about because I've never owned a loose highlighter, but I'd be lying if I said that one of the main reasons I bought this wasn't for the packaging because it was. And as you can see, it is like really kind of cool. It's got like the skull holes in it. It's pretty glittery. Okay. I will, I'll, I'll say that. I'm not, I'm going to be honest here. It's, 
it's pretty glittery, but it's pretty. When you get it on, I did use it in my palette gauntlet video. If you wanna go check that out, I'll link it up here if you just wanna see the application of this product. It seems to blend in really well and you can kind of get it, get it to an even coverage without there being too much glitter. I don't necessarily regret buying it. I think it's kind of cool. Like I said, I haven't owned anything like this before. I'm curious how it would apply over glitter glue like on my eyelids. I haven't gone that route yet, but I do plan to. So I'll, you know, I'll talk about it some more maybe at some point, but those are the only two things that I bought from the Gothic Graphic Collection because honestly, I don't know if I would use anything else. I've been toiling over buying some of the other stuff and I know somebody really wanted me to review the entire collection, but to be perfectly honest, I didn't wanna buy the entire collection knowing that I wasn't going to use everything in it. Now, there are a few eyeliners that I just had absolutely no interest in. I didn't have any interest in all of the eye glosses or like the cream eyeshadows. There's a couple that I think I might actually pick up but I didn't really need all of them. I just didn't need the entire collection, so I'm so sorry I'm not gonna be reviewing that entire collection. But if you're curious about hearing more about those, then I can definitely you know, make a video talking about those. So another highlighter I got this month, I think this is actually the last makeup product. This is, I love this. <laughs> um, now I originally, I thought about buying this a long time ago, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna buy it just for the name. But then I saw Georgia Harris talking about it. I saw Live Loves Their Makeup talking about it and they really love it and I trust both of their judgment and I'm very glad that I got this. This is the Opal Flashes Jade Highlight by Becca. This is one of their Light Chaser highlighters. I've never had any of their Light Chaser highlighters. I honestly never had any interest in them, but it's basically, you know, it's the color shift. And I'm all about those highlights with the color shift. I've talked about that before. And I don't know if you can even see this on my hand. It's a very subtle kind of shift. It's called Opal Flashes Jade. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not, but I love this. My dog was named Jade. This is my dog. It was a painting of her. Um, you might have seen my tattoo. But yeah, anyway, she's my dog that passed away last year. She was 14. She died of cancer and I love her so much. And yeah, if it says, if it has her name in it, it's just a matter of time before I finally get it. They're on sale on Becca's website for half off right now. And that makes them $17. But yeah, I love this. This is this has quickly become one of my like sentimental um, makeup items. And I am going to have a full video coming out of my sentimental makeup. So anyway, now the last thing I got this month and yeah, this is like all new stuff, man. I've bought like a lot of stuff this month. Anyway, um, the last thing I got this month, this isn't necessarily like a makeup item, but it's something that I needed for my channel because I always find myself needing like a hand mirror or makeup and I switch between all these palettes and all these little compacts a million times because it's like the, pa the compacts aren't big enough. The palettes are too awkward to hold. It's just a... It's a whole thing, so. I got a hand mirror, but I got the Kat Von D one. This is like, it's supposed to look like a wax seal, which I'm a writer. I love anything that, I, I love it, okay. Um, it does look like her little compact here, which this powder, I really love. Gosh, it's, if I'm gonna say another favorite, this is another favorite of mine, I love it. But yeah, I love this mirror. It doesn't, it looks really expensive. Um, I think I paid like, I think it was like, 15 or 16, 17 bucks anyway. And I think it's cool. I don't want to blind you, but it does have cats like, see the stars on the mirror? I'm trying to get it. There we go. See the stars right there? I think that's kind of supposed to look like, you know, her star tattoo or whatever. But I love this mirror. It's really lightweight. Like I said, it looks expensive, but it doesn't feel expensive. It feels kind of, I don't want to say it feels kind of cheap, but at the same time, it does feel inexpensive but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Number one, because the mirror is great. The mirror is great quality. It's not like warpy, it's flat, it's great. I love the mirror, okay? But at the same time, it's lightweight enough for me to sit here and hold it and do my makeup. So that's good. Like I get why they made it lightweight. I think that was, and I think that was probably intentional. So I love this mirror. And I think that about wraps it up. Like I don't really, like I said, I don't have a ton of favorites, but, and I don't really do hauls because I pick up things here and there. And I wanted to just kind of give you guys a rundown of all the stuff that I did get this month and my thoughts about it. I also don't have any products that I particularly hate from this month. So I am gonna end this with some music. I like to do like music favorites, music recommendations. I really love music. Um, so one of my recommendations is gonna be, now I don't really listen to a ton of like pop music and like, 
mainstream kind of music. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, it's too mainstream. No, I like, I mean, I like popular music. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not like a music snob in that respect. But the new song, Drake's new song, I think it's called God's Plan. It is so sweet. The video, oh my god. If you haven't seen that video, please go watch it. It is adorable. I love it so much. It was so sweet. If you don't know like the story behind it. So basically what they did was they had a budget for the video, which was like somewhere near million dollars. And instead of using the million dollars that they were allotted from the record label to produce this insane quality video, you know, like a lot of his other videos, instead they went around and they just gave it all away. They gave all that money away to like different people in the community. And it was just so adorable. And it was just so sweet, which makes that one of my favorite songs, or if not my absolute favorite song of the month. Another song I've been liking this month, and like when I do favorite songs, songs of the month, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a brand new song. It's just maybe a song that I've just been like finding myself listening to a lot. I've been listening to a lot of Deftones lately. I love them. I've loved them for a really long time. I've actually seen them live. They are incredible. Oh my God. Well, one of their songs I've been listening to a lot this month is Minerva, and I, I just love it. Um, See if I can play a little clip so that you guys know what song I'm talking about. I don't want to get like a copyright strike, but since I am like discussing the song, it's 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 fair use, okay? But yeah, I love that song. It is one of my favorite songs pretty much of all time. I love the Deftones. If you're not familiar with that song, maybe go check it out. You might like it. Also, please check out that Drake song and at least watch that video. It is like the best music video on the planet. It is so sweet. Okay, so I'm just gonna shut up. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and you wanna be, just hit the subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.